Tiki Hut Media. From Tiki Hut Media, this is Soul Ramblings with Jerry Wicker. Good morning and welcome to week six in the season of Lent. And this is Palm Sunday. In our scripture readings, we have two of them, actually. A passage from Luke 19, verses 28 through 40, which reads, After he had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethpage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why you are untying it, just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. And then selected passages from Psalm 118, we'll read verses 1 through 2 and then verses 19 through 29. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you. Give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. As we said, this week is Palm Sunday as we head into Holy Week. And I love Palm Sunday. I love the transition that it provides as we set our hearts and minds toward Holy Week and Easter, one of the high points of the Christian year. There are only two readings for this Sunday, the account of the triumphal entry from Luke's Gospel and a portion of Psalm 118. A few things stand out as we reflect on Luke's account of Jesus entering Jerusalem. First of all, the significance of the place from which they set out, Bethany. This village was home to a few of Jesus' close friends and companions, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. It's a couple of miles from Jerusalem and is oriented on the eastern slope of the Mount of Olives, also a significant place in Jesus' life and ministry. From there, Jesus sends out two disciples to a village ahead of them, to locate a colt that has never been ridden. He gives them detailed instructions, which turn out to be just as he said they would. Here, Jesus' sovereignty over all situations and circumstances is made evident. This display of foreknowledge would have served to further the disciples' belief that Jesus was the Messiah. We, too, can trust him and know that in him all things hold together. As he and the disciples began to draw near to Jerusalem, the crowd was stirred and began to roll out the red carpet for Jesus. Luke writes, As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Now, many likely believe that Jesus was riding in to conquer Rome. There would have been those in the crowd that have been waiting 
for a Messiah that would save them from their oppressors. For them, this entry was to regain power and control from the Roman authorities. Jesus, however, had something very different in mind. Luke gives us a detail that serves as a window into Jesus' emotional state in this moment. He writes, As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. As the people were shouting and singing, Jesus was weeping over the city of Jerusalem. He wasn't riding in to conquer Rome. He was riding in to die and bring atonement and salvation to those in sin and death. He would conquer, but not in the way the crowds expected. His work was to defeat sin and death, not a political power. So often we come to Jesus with expectations, just like those of the crowd on Palm Sunday. We have a plan and an agenda for Jesus to fulfill, but he will have none of it. When our prayers don't seem to be answered, it could be that Jesus is simply waiting for us to realize that his ways are not our ways. Usually his unanswered prayers are a mercy, a gift. God doesn't give us all that we want, but all that we truly need. The people laying down branches before Jesus didn't need a new earthly king who would take over the city. They needed a heavenly savior who would take over their heart and lives. Unfortunately, they didn't realize this deeper need. May God open our eyes to our need of him each and every day. The song that the people were shouting that day was from Psalm 118. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Psalms were Israel's hymn book, the source of expression for all occasions, joy, sorrow, lament, praise, celebration. On this day long ago, they were singing a song of celebration to their Messiah. Luke gives us another detail concerning this occasion and the fact that their song was warranted. He writes, Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. Though in their hearts they may have had wrong motives, with their lips they were offering appropriate praise to the King of Kings. Next Sunday is Easter Sunday, and in between times on Wednesday, we have a brand new episode of Soul Ramblings Podcast, full episode that will drop, and then we'll have an Easter special next Sunday morning. Hope to see you here then. Be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening, and you'll never miss a new episode of Soul Ramblings Podcast. Until next time, I'm Jerry Wicker. Thank you for the gift and privilege of your time. May the Lord of love keep us all in peace transform our conflict into the beauty of his grace and give us joyful hearts to do his will in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen thanks for listening to soul ramblings with jerry wicker download new episodes every week and if you haven't already subscribe and be sure to leave us a rating and review soul ramblings is a tiki hut media production